Hello YouTube, it's Rose Jones, and this is my nerve-rockingly extensive wig collection. In other news, this is day seven of Vlog Every Day in May about DNA. Wigs are fun. You can dye your hair rainbow without having it being pink for six months later. I know someone with hair like this, actually. My ginger in crime, Michaela, recently cut and dyed her hair. I don't know if that's legit or not. Or if she's just messing with me, because I messed with her really hard and now she's messing with me back, I think. I have to say this is the most terrifying wig because it actually looks like my hair. If I were a drag king, this would probably be the wig I would use, and my name would be Jerry Mixon. I have nothing more really to say on this wig topic, but I just feel like this wig needs to make an appearance in this video. Well, this wig thing escalated quickly. I'm now dressed in drag. It's not as fun to be a drag king versus to be a drag queen because there's nobody cares if you're a girl who dresses like a guy. You might get the occasional bully. When you're a guy that dresses like a girl, you're like, ah, yeah, I'm wearing sexy panties. When you, when you dress as a guy, you get to wear boxers. I wear boxers as pajamas. That's not a bonus. I did not think I'd be dressing in drag tonight. I would make an amazing gay guy. Let's face it. If you would like to date my male gay counterpart, leave me a comment with your number. So now that I got dressing drag out of my system and wearing that idiotic wig, I think we should start talking about DNA, which is the reason we're all here. At least it's the reason I'm here. Duh. Girl solution, just my hair is bothering me, therefore put it up. So DNA, today we're gonna talk about chromosomes and the shapes of chromosomes because prokaryotic chromosomes are different than eukaryotic chromosomes. How come I'm hesitating saying chromosomes? I'm sure we've all seen uh, the thing of the chromosome. Kind of looks like that. So prokaryotes, they have kind of like a circular chromosome. Circular chromosome. But in reality, the circular chromosome really kind of looks like this. It's not really circular, it's actually really spherical. But we just say circular because, you know, if you draw a line around it, it's a circle. So, that's the shut up sirens. But here's the really crazy part. Chromosomes are only visible during cell division. Oh my god! Otherwise, the genetic material is just sort of floating around the nucleus. In the case of a prokaryote, it's just floating around. Why? Imagine you have a big clump of string. And you have to divide that string. You have to replicate that string and divide it equally. How? That is why chromosomes are a thing. In preparation for cell division, the chromosomes will kind of come together and there's a whole big hierarchy of DNA organization with proteins and stuff and they all just sort of weave around each other and they make that chromosome shape thing. When you have the two of them like that, that's like a thing. That's two copies of genetic information. That's the two copies from, from the two parents. Here's a gamete, here's a gamete. Yo, gamete, let's fuse. All right, other gamete. Oh, zygote. That's how babies are made. <sighs> I'm done. And I'm so tired and I'm done. I need to take a shower so my hair doesn't look so stupid. That's not a bonus. 